In this video, we'll take a look at adding an image to Cascade Server. In order to add an image to a web page, it must already exist within Cascade Server. If the image is located somewhere else, you will need to add it to Cascade Server first. So for example, you want to add an image that is saved on your computer called little500.jpg to a web page. As always, make sure that you're going to want to go into your Edit tab. And inside the WYSIWYG editor, go ahead and place your cursor where you would like to insert the image. And then go ahead and select the Insert Edit Image icon. And when your Insert Edit Image dialog box opens, you're going to want to select the Browse button next to image and we have a folder created called pictures and what we're going to be doing is selecting where we want to save the image to and then we're going to select the image save it and then display it on the web page next go ahead and select upload and select the browse button and locate the little 500.jpg image I'm using a Macintosh and I have it saved on my desktop. Go ahead and select open and then select the upload button and that'll place the image inside of your pictures folder. And go ahead and confirm and this puts the location automatically for where the image is located. Next, you're going to want to type in the alternate text, and the alternate text will be displayed if for some reason the image is unable to be displayed, or if somebody, for example, has images turned off in the web browser, or if they can't see images. So this would be the description of the image. So I'm just going to go ahead and type picture of little 500, and I'm going to go ahead and leave the rest of the items the way they are and I'm going to go ahead and select insert and that will place the image into the WYSIWYG editor. After inserting the image you do have the ability to go back in and make changes to it if you would like to and in order to do this go ahead and select your image and then select the insert edit image item and in this example I'm going to go ahead and change the width and the height to something different just as an example so I'm going to change it from what its default item was to become 100 pixels wide by 100 pixels high. Go ahead and select update and that changes the dimensions of your image. As always, after you've done that, you're going to want to select the submit button for all your changes to be saved. 